going on with you guys thank you for tapping in with me again today and if you're new to the channel i'm cleveland so guys remember just the other day i've moved over our titan trigger as well as our mini Addis grouper moved them into the 225 if you haven't caught that video stop this video right now go check out that video and then come on back and then join us over here so for those of you that did catch that video so yeah like i said we moved them over there and i told you in that video if there was anything to happen, I will let you guys know. So, well, we had some things happening. Um, before I tell you what happened, let me tell you what can happen when you get aggressive fish, when you move them around and you separate them and things like that. Or if you already have an established tank and then you bring and introduce a new fish, what can happen? So. Everybody over there was doing good. Everybody was happy. But you know, we had to get our two guys that was up here back into their aquarium where they deserve to be and where they belong. So we lost our Niger trigger, y'all. Niger. Um, the pineapple trigger. First of all, I didn't even know that they were so much smaller than the fish that were over there. Titus was actually the size of the smallest trigger. So that was unexpected. So um, we had to get Titus out. Titus back over here. Big bad Titus. I am, I'm blown away. I'm surprised by that. I didn't expect that at all. You know, I said I didn't expect that. But that pineapple trigger is very, it's, it's kind of big, guys. It's kind of big. And uh, that pineapple trigger popped the swim bladder on Niger, on the Niger trigger on Nigel. And then beat the crap out of Titus. So Titus over here, his eye messed up. I'll let you see him. This video is not about that. But this is more like a fish vlog video. Uh, but like I said, so got Titus back over here. His eyes messed up. We left the mini Addis in there. But we did have to move out the other grouper. The white spot, the, the spotted grouper. The one that I told you that he was bullying on last time. I'll run some footage so you can see exactly what was going on in that aquarium so you understand why I had to act fast. Let's run it. All right, so as you can see, you know, he was getting bullied. We left him there. Actually, I took him out today. So we left him there because it was hard to catch. He was not trying to allow me to catch him. Even though he would sit at the top of the aquarium in the corner over here, right into the left corner. So he just literally just, just take off every time I try to go in there and grab him. Um, I didn't want to go ahead and move out the rock work and put the little divider in there like I used to do to catch him. I didn't think it was necessary yet. Nonetheless, I got him out of there. But he was already beat up by this time. Everybody started attacking him. Um, the mini Addis is good in there. I would have taken out the mini Addis, but I really love the mini Addis and I want to see him actually get bigger and you know, he's a beautiful fish, red, blue dots. Anyway, so the other one, when we move, I'll put him into like a 125, 240, something like that. There, he's definitely going to get an upgrade. But right now, both of the guys are over here. It is what it is, but uh, let's take a look at him. And then we're going to start doing some other things in this room. So I've been busy, guys. It's been so busy with work. That's when the aquariums kind of like, you know, get a little neglected. And, you know, we have dirty aquariums and things like that. So dirty filters. So we're going to do a little bit of that up in this video right here. I typically don't do like the fish vlog videos. But today I want to do it. So I'll basically clean out this 125, do a water change on it. Um, you'll be able to see what's going on, it, going on with this aquarium. It is a little couple little changes in here we got some rock in here we got a fish in here as you can see you know if you look close you can see this oscar right here so we did move oscar over here we did put some nice rocks over there so it looks good so i'll show you that um this aquarium i got to do some work on this got to wipe down the glass do a water change um the turtle tank got to clean the filter over there do a water change i got to clean the 37 gallon i'm not gonna push you through all these aquariums being clean and doing these water changes but I just wanted to um, let you know what's going on with these two guys. I also wanted to just do, you know, just talk to you guys. You know, just chill with you guys. Let you guys see what I got going on over here. But uh, let's take a look at these guys over here. Oh, sh I forgot. So 
not only do I want to show you these guys and do this little uh, maintenance with you guys, but I want to show you what I've been working on. I don't know about you, but that's why I need to have me a nice little workspace to basically do my builds and things like that because I've been, I've been working on something for the past week, guys, and I want to share it with you. I was going to wait, but it's at a point to where I'm feeling a little proud of it, and I still got a lot more to go. But um, I'm planning for these massive plywood bills that I have going on in the future. So as I told you, you know, or you may not know if it's your first time here, you may not know. So I plan on building like an 1800 gallon for my fresh water as well as for the salt water. If possible, I'm gonna try. But nonetheless, I'm beginning to build the decor for these aquariums. As some of you may know, these fish get very large in size. And I realized from having them small, how much they like to utilize these rock structures, these structures in these aquariums that we kind of like lose once they get a certain size because you know we don't have the proper rock structure. So I've been building. I built the very first cave. It's not completed. The very first cave that's going to go into the plywood aquarium for the freshwater guys. I don't have a fish that's going to completely fit through here, but you know what? It's going to look amazing because they will never outgrow it. Let me just show you what I got going on right here, guys. <laughs> look at this. You cannot tell me this is not sick. This is sweet right here. So basically, I've just been using cement to basically bind all of this together. So I'm proud of this. This is this is quite tall. I grabbed a measuring tape and we could measure this, but so we got the little cave right here coming all the way around right there. I got some other pieces that I'm working on. Check out this one. I like how it's coming across. So basically, I wanted to do the things with this cement that you can't do any other way. So binding it that way allows me to come branched off and things like that. So that's what I wanna do. I really wanna make these exaggerated shapes and designs and uh yeah something i can be proud of not only while am i going to build the aquarium but building the decor that's going to go in the aquarium means that much more probably won't be able to do that so much with the salt water actually i will take that back i'm buying a bunch of marco rock so yeah fresh water salt water i'm building all the decor because i want everything to be about this so look at this let me grab it let me grab the um, tape measure and then i still have some more rock right here i do plan on building more pieces so i will have to get a lot more rock in the future actually in the near future actually in the near future but for now here we are so let me go ahead and uh hold on all right let's see how tall how tall that is <laughs> like 18 and a half inches can you see that? Uh, 18 and a half inches. 19 and three quarters right there. Yeah, that's amazing. Let's see what the width is like. I'm only talking about the width in there. We're looking at about 11 inches. Yeah, about 12 inches at the widest opening. So yeah, this whole thing is about 24 inches. by 20 inches. Yeah, so this is gonna be real, real sick. I've even, like with that piece right, like with that piece right there, I've been thinking about doing a little something like, you know, put that one on there, check that out. So something like that. We'll see though. 
All right, now let's take a look at our grouper. And I'm telling you right now, he's looking a little beat up. So if uh, this is not something you want to see, just uh, speed past this part. There you go, right there. So everybody was taking a taking a chunk of body. Man. You see that? You see those scars? Everybody was on him. It's like soon as he showed weakness, everybody just got on him. And he's much bigger and much thicker than the Miniatus, but but he just don't have he just don't have that heart. So I like him. We got him, so we gonna make sure that he's good in the future. You know, he can't go back in there. I always knew that I was gonna have to have multiple salt waters, and there go Titus right here. So that eye is good. The other eye is kind of is damaged, but I, it's not. He's not going to lose it. You know, it's just going to take some time for it to heal. But it's, it's white. It looks pretty bad. But he's not going to come out so you can see him. And then his tail is a little tattered. All right, there we go. You can see it a little bit. No, you can't. But, yeah. So, that's what's going on with this aquarium right here. That's what's going on with these two guys right here. So they'll remain in this aquarium until we move. But they will definitely get an upgrade. And they'll stay together. So once Titus get bigger, you know, we'll see what happens. But for now, 100% going to be separated. Another fish that's going to join these guys is our parrotfish. Where is our parrotfish? Hi. As well as our filefish. So the parrotfish and the filefish, there's the parrotfish right there. That's the parrotfish back there. And then the filefish, 100%, has to go with these guys. But yeah, so that's the aquarium. Looking good. These guys. Like I said, check out the glass. This is what we got to clean. Hold on, we over here. There we go. So yeah, check out the glass. I'll take out some more of this rock since I moved Oscar. Um, there's not really much aggression, you know. Houston and uh, his and uh, his girlfriend for sure likes to go after the other guys, but as you can see, nobody's fighting. Our bride count over here doing good, but like I said, we got to clean this aquarium, wipe this glass. Rock looking a little dirty. Got to clean this filter right here. This is the new basking platform that I made for her. Just a quick little modification of what she had previously. But I like this one more because she could get her whole body and uh, her shell out the water, really. Uh, you know, obviously her body, a little bit of her body is still getting wet. But she could get most of her shell or all of her shell out the water. And that's what needs to happen. Uh, looking forward to upgrading her. And then... We have this one right here, guys. Check it out. So, like I said, we had some um, changes going on over here. This is looking like this because these turtles love to knock the circulation pump off the wall of the aquarium. And then, of course, blows all the sand. They also knocked off the tube, the airline, from that um, air disc right there. So, I got to fix that. Here they go. And then as you can see, put some rocks in here. This came from the 150. I love these rocks with this sand because it almost matches. The sand is, pre the sand is pretty much the same color as the rock. So looking real dope. Real, 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 real dope. And then lastly, check it out. That 37 gallon. Filters got to be clean. If you got sponges, right? If you want, This is one way to know that you're overdue for a cleaning. If your sponges are filled up, it's going to push your lid up. So that's one way of knowing for sure that you need to go ahead and rinse out those sponges. Um, tank has been going without being touched for about a week. 
This glass right here, this side glass right here, as dirty as it is, that's how the front was. But since um, I knew I was having company, I needed to make sure I cleaned up a little. So I wiped down the front. Didn't clean it all. But wanted to make sure that I got it looking at least presentable. So when we uh, tackle it, we at least could see what we're actually looking at and trying to accomplish. We want it all to look clear like this. We want it to look beautiful. So water change, clean the sides. That's the plan. Check out the sump up here, guys. This thing has been going crazy. I mean, let me see if I can adjust it as best as I can. We have Aptasia in here growing, and I'm glad because you know what I'm gonna do with that Aptasia? I'm gonna, I'm gonna feed my foul fish. So as soon as I feel like they're big enough, I'm gonna drop one of those rocks in there to my foul fish. I'm gonna feed them. So feeding on these Aptasia, we have so many um, amphipods in here and copepods, so I'm happy about that. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is going, it's doing really good. Hermit crabs right there, the snails in here breeding all over again. So when we get up, when we move, we're definitely going to be able to get a nice Mandarin Dragonette. And you know, I've been wanting one of those again for some time now, so looking forward to that. Oh yeah. Check it out, our purple lobster molted. That's his uh, exoskeleton right there. And he just stays, uh, let's see. I know you can see the claws. There you go. He stays in there. If I could get some light on him, hold on. We're gonna get, we're gonna, we're gonna make this happen somehow. There you go right there, you can see the claws. There you go. Chilling back there. And there goes the exoskeleton right there. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So we got work to do nonetheless. Work to do. I'll start off on this aquarium real quick. And then I want to start trying to siphon all three of these tanks at the same time. And then I'll work on that 37 gallon. So we not, I'm not going through all of this with you because I've put you through this enough times, but just in case this is something that you wanna see, I will show it to you. I'll show you a little bit more than what I think you might wanna see, just in case, yeah, you wanna see more. All right. He's above the tank sumps quite a while. They're about due. But one rule of thumb is if you are cleaning your aquarium, if you're going to do like a, you know, 50% water change, something like that, you don't want to change out or clean your filter. You want to allow all that seeded media help you out with that fresh water that you just put up in here. So, uh, yeah. Right. Hold on. We got that right here. And also, let's talk about some things while we talking, no, y'all. Um, I got a question. Matter of fact, this was going to be my, uh, my tapping in topic, but, you know, let's talk about it right now. What do y'all think about, let me just ask the question. Does size matter? Huh? <laughs> I, know the, I know the fellas like, hell yeah, size matter. You know, um, in real life, you know, you get a little bit of both sides, you know, and I think it's unanimous in the end when you just say, you know, in real life, size doesn't matter. But when we're talking about, when I ask you this question, I'm asking in regards to aquariums. Does size matter when you're thinking of select? Oh, I hear Carter. Let me go check on Papa. Be right back. All right. Carter's okay. Don't really remember where I was at, but I think I was somewhere along the lines of the size matter. And I was and I was saying that in regards to an aquarium, size definitely matters. I would choose an aquarium that will be able to house the fish 
from six months to a year. Only if I already know that I want to have multiple aquariums, I would do it this way. If I didn't think that, I would go ahead and get the aquarium that's going to house the fish for the duration of its life. So, you know, if you need a 300 gallon for the fish full grown, you might as well get that 300 gallon. Even if you don't put it in there right away, you still might as well get it because you don't want to have multiple aquariums along the way. Otherwise, you have a surplus of aquariums and, you know, who wants that if you don't want to have multiple tanks? But if if you uh, if you don't mind having multiple aquariums, you could definitely house a fish in a smaller aquarium starting off, you know, as it grows. Uh, you know, you could start off with a fish like an Oscar, put him in a 20 gallon. Um, he'll probably let's be able to stay in that 20 gallon, maybe like a couple of months, a few months maybe. And then you're gonna have to upgrade. And when you upgrade, this is where you upgrade to either a full to the aquarium where it, it could live in there until, you know, for its life, like a 125. Or if you want to go ahead and get a 75 gallon, you can. But if you get a 75 gallon, you are 100% going to need to upgrade that 75 gallon. Um, because you can't house an Oscar in a 75 gallon. For the duration of their life, some Oscars Oscars get pretty big, guys. Like, let's just be real. You know, I know people put them in a, put them in seventy fives for the duration of their lives. I would never recommend it. I think that's cruel. Um, I think you need at least a one twenty five. That's single or pair. Um, you know, um, you could even put them in a bigger aquarium in a one twenty five. But one twenty five should be a minimum, absolute minimum, for an Oscar pair. So, uh, yeah, so size, I think it matters. It really does matter, guys. Like, you know, so make sure that you know the fish that you're getting. So you could, you know, make sure that you know the fish that you're getting so you could keep it, you know, for the duration of, of its life. You know, um, that's the main reason why I house the fish that I want, I like, and that I know that I could keep for the duration of their lives. Because I don't want to buy something and all of a sudden um, I'm having to give it away. Um, after I after I just spent so much time, money on it, things like that, got to give it up. Um, can't release it, that's not an option. Um, and that's just, you know, that's not fair to, to you, the animal, you know, it's not fair. You know, you bought it, but yet you can't take care of it because, you know, you don't know what you, you didn't plan so i'm not trying to talk crap to anybody because you know i've been in the pet store plenty of times and looked up the fish and decided there it's something that i know i could i could take care of for the duration of his life there's not that many huge fish that i feel like i could take care of for the duration of his life only because like I, there's a max limit on the aquarium size that i am willing to get not you know not saying that I could never build something humongous or anything like that, but there's not I'm, there's not that many fish that I want to keep that get that big. Like you know the the main one that I would love to keep, and I don't know if it's, if it ever happened, is a black tip reef shark. Like I feel like those are the closest sharks that could go in home aquariums that look almost like a great white. You know, so to me it's like a little household great white shark, and same exact you know habits you know they got they constantly got to swim you need the racetrack aquarium things like that so something like that i would want they get it to five feet i don't think i'm you know i don't know where this channel is going to go but right now i don't know if it's going to go to the point to where i could uh you know have a five foot fish you know that's just one so you got to understand like the tank maids and just everything. I mean, it could happen. You know, it could happen if the desire is there. I just, as it stands, I don't even really want to have something that big. That's, I would say that would need like 20,000 gallons. About 20,000 gallons, 25,000 gallons. That's, that's a 50% 50, 50 water change on that. So. I don't really see that happening. But yeah. So yeah, I just wanted to talk to you about that. 
you know, please drop in the comments. Let me know what you think. If you think size matters. So right now, just getting all the. It's time for this filter. Really got to get clean, y'all. Like, uh, man, I'm not gonna lie. It's been a while since I've cleaned this filter. This filter, 100%, needs to be clean. And the indicator on that, when your rocks start turning a little brown, that's not a, that's not really an indicator that your aquarium is dirty. That's an indicator right there that the water that's coming up out of this output right here this outtake is dirty that means those sponges are very very brown that's why those rocks are turning brown watch i'll make sure when i clean that when i clean that filter it's not gonna be today obviously but i'll make sure when i clean that filter i'll do it on camera so you guys can see but trust me that's what it is but yeah so like i said i'm gonna take some of this out I might even use some of these pieces on this design right here. I should. This one right here has always been a problem. Like it's so, it's nice, but it's so awkward. Which is the reason why every time I set it up, it's always looking all funky. So this probably won't even go back and I'm definitely going to use that in some kind of way with the design. Like I said, open this up real nice. Like this was a this was a dope one right here. This one right here. Yeah. Look at that. That's crazy. So much feces up in here. So like I said. Just been a minute. I'll take this one out. This one right here was giving me problems. I think I could do better. So I think that might be it. I don't think I wanna mess with this one. I really like that one. You know which other one that's usually a problem? This big one over here. That big one right there. This big one right here. That one is always an issue. Every time. It's just so bottom heavy. I mean, which is good, but it's just so, it's not even flat. You know what I mean? You can't stand it up. You, it can't really sit on nothing because it wants to like roll because it's so heavy and it's almost rounded so we're gonna we're gonna figure that one out too that's for sure but it's so big i'm not really going to um submit nothing to it i just maybe i maybe i will maybe i'll submit a kickstand on it you see i want you looking at my back why don't you look at this fat gut either? Yeah, I gotta start working out, y'all. Like, I've been trying to get back on it, but I really gotta get back on it. I'm not trying to go into my 40s out of shape with a beer gut. Don't even drink beer. But, uh, yeah, I gotta be young and able to get around for my little man. I gotta be young and active, bigger. I gotta have some bigger. All right, getting this all good. Yeah, man. Any new projects for y'all? Y'all, y'all been having any new projects going on? I know a few of you, a few of my subs. Got some new tanks and things going on. There we go. Alright. Look at this. This is dirty. 
it's whatever. right there a little bit of algae on the on the glass all right there it is there it is That out you off real quick. Alright, we got that one done. So luckily, the other two, I don't even have to clean the glass. There's no algae issues. So I just gotta siphon this out, hook this up to my little, my four-way, and uh, that's it, I'll be right back. All right, I already started over here, so this one, filter needs to be clean, so I'll just do all the filters on one day, so maybe in the next video, we'll go ahead and do these filters. So in a couple of days, I'll be back. Give me a reason to come back early this time. There go me and Oscar. So I just blow all that out. Blow this up off the, off the rock. scoop out most of that so look right you you guys you guys got a clearance so you guys do this you see what well, you you know what i gotta do i gotta take this i gotta take the net go through there get all that out i gotta siphon this i gotta move over the sand i gotta get it looking all beautiful again and when it's done when it's looking all beautiful again i'll be back and but i also make sure that that tank over there is done i'll make sure that tank over there is done i'm not gonna make sure that 37 gallons done because that's a lot of work but i want to make sure that all these are done before I come back, just so you're not going through all this. So, with that good YouTube magic, with the snap of my fingers, we're going to have three clean aquariums. And we'll be right back. I'm going to be tired. I'm going to tell you right. I'm going to be tired, but I'll be right back. <clears throat> all right, guys. So, I don't know if you can tell, but it's late. It's been, it's been a little while. So, um, we've done this aquarium right here. Took a lot longer than I thought. It was a lot more vacuuming than I thought it would be, but... This tank is done, cloudy, yes, but it's good. This aquarium, we got everything done, took a lot more vacuuming. I literally got all the water out about 50%, filled it back up. All of a sudden, all the detritus and everything started coming out from behind the rock work. Once I cut back on those circulation pumps, because I thought I was done. So then I had to siphon it again and fill it back up with some more water. So here we are. So. Um, It'll look a lot more clear tomorrow or the day after. Probably tomorrow. It's not that bad at all at all right now. It's actually looking kind of clear as is, but tomorrow it'll be a lot better. Um, so as you can see, we took out a lot more rock work. We stood that rock up right there. Um, I decided to turn this one and make it more like a cave. So now, you know, it's like a little, little rock hallway type deal going on. So that's that. Um, I have not started on the 150 over there with this Florida soft shell. 
her tank looks immaculate like it's crystal clear the only thing i need to do like i indicated was clean this filter so i will only just go ahead and just turn the filter off take out the media clean it put it back in and if i do foul up the water with some of the you know detritus or whatever that's in the filter then i'll go ahead and i'll suck out some of that and then i'll go ahead and refill it but this one i'm not really concerned about it's this 37 gallon i was telling you about but i'm not going to do that tonight it's a lot i'm tired i said i was gonna be tired you know i got that nice little youtube magic that you uh you know it took a couple seconds to see all of this but i'm tired so i won't do this tonight but i just wanted to go ahead and wrap up this video so i could really dig in um, with this cleaning so um yeah so just appreciate this beautiful 125 like I said, this is Lace Rock, if you want to know. We have in here our Red Devil. We have in here our fate. Check this out, right? We gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna, I don't want to say it's a poll, but I want to hear what you guys think Houston is. Do you guys think Houston right here is a golden base fader flower horn? I don't. I don't. I've seen them. Don't look like it to me, but I want to know what you guys think. Or... Do you think it's a uh, red Texas? It might be. A, it might be a hybrid. That might be the problem because I don't think it looked like either one a hundred percent. But in my opinion, from my experience, I've seen red Texas cichlids that look like that. I had a red Texas cichlid that looked similar to that, and he didn't make it. He's been gone for a while now, but he looked exact, he looked exactly like that. Um, but Houston is just like much more of a beautiful fish. And then again, so we also have in here our five-star general, our golden Jack Dempsey, our zero tilapia, buddy Cofferi, red tail Brycon. We have another smaller red devil, and we have a bunch of different catfish in here. We have um, striped Raphael catfish, spotted Raphael catfish, and a small, I think it's a, just a lace um, catfish. My, you know, some kind of Cynodonis catfish. Um, but yeah, so that's what we have in this aquarium. We move our albino Oscar over there to the other 125. He is in their solo bolo right now. I don't know what we plan on doing with him. Hopefully we move before we have to decide. So that's it, guys. I, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. You know I always hope that you learned something. Let's look at this one more time. If you want to learn something, learn how to make this right here, guys. Again, like I told you, we have this beautiful rock structure. I am using cement to hold it in place. Just having a little bit of fun. So, again, like I said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned something. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at The Fish Corner. Follow me on Facebook, The Fish Corner. Follow me on TikTok, The Fish Corner. And until next time, guys, peace.